Okay, here are the horns I use every day. This is a 1961 Selmer Mark VI. It is beautiful. I got it from Doug Webb, an LA jazz saxophone legend. I love you, Doug. This is awesome, but it's irreplaceable, so I only use it locally. The new Selmer Supreme alto saxophone, it has changed my life. A joy and a pleasure to play, and once I start playing, I can't put it down. I use this horn to practice in another room. It's the Con 10M Naked Lady. It is an amazing horn, irreplaceable. But you want to see what I'm bringing to the gig for the King's Coronation? A Toman TTS 350. Inexpensive by any standards, completely unrepairable, but very replaceable. Why bring a cheap horn to a very important gig? Well, first of all, I sound like me on no matter what saxophone I use. For years, I've had this rule floating around in my head. When traveling with an instrument, it must have three things. It must be repairable, fun, and replaceable. Repairable is mandatory, and so is replaceable. But fun is questionable. It's a fact that every professional musician can make any instrument sound good. But well-made tools that we can use are a lot of fun, and that's what makes life fun and I realized that I was missing out on this fun. Freely admitting here, I've spent years on the road not practicing in my spare time because it was just no fun to play. And I think it's time to get some fun. It's time to get some gratitude in my playing and in my heart. So when I landed, I had a choice. Saxophone made it this time. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So instead of heading to Windsor, I went the opposite way into London on the South Bank at the Sax Shop. The highest quality new saxophones. Repairable, replaceable, and oh, so much fun. <laughs> thoughts are just are wow I can't put it into words um, it's night and day it's everything that I wanted for a Selmer for a long time the intonation issues around certain ranges of the horn have evened out so it's more in tune the, the one requirement I think I need to do is actually to practice not compensating um, which would be a lovely thing to practice. Uh, just let the horn take care of it. Such a welcome challenge to have is, is to give more of your work over to the instrument and uh, have you not think about it so much. I love this horn. I love it a lot. Um, I just may get it. I went to a hotel and got a cup of coffee and thought about it. And there really was no thinking about it. Of course, I picked up the Selmer. It was amazing. The way it just vibrated in my hands, my arms, into my body, the way it responded, the way I didn't have to think about the horn. Now I have that feeling that I always crave. And if something goes wrong, I hope it doesn't, but if something goes wrong, I can have it replaced. Insurance. So the concert went great. It was an amazing night, over a billion people watched, and it was wonderful to be a sideman with the biggest legend of them all. And on top of it, I had so much fun. This is my dream horn for me, and I'll be so proud to carry it wherever I go. As far as the tall man, I'm giving it to a high school locally here anyway, in Germany. thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one, okay? <laughs>